Watch out, Boop. Come on. Hey! Ow! Did you see what he just did? Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. 7.45 a.m. Good morning, Boo. Boo slept in his room last night. Gates were on the door. He's happy in his cat tower. He gets to be comfortable and he gets to look out the window and see the cat feeder and see Hydrox and see everything that's going on outside. Good morning, Stella. How are you today, Stella? Stella, Splash, and Simba had free roam last night. And um, I gave them their breakfast in their automatic feeder last night before I went to bed. Because I have a very early and busy morning. And there's Simba in the front window. 8.30 a.m. The feeders went off this morning. And the cats have not really eaten their food. It looks like they ate some of this one on the right. And a little bit of the one on the left. And when they dispensed this morning, I think it was around 7.45 when I came down here. I think what happens is the cats are confused because when I'm home, they would rather eat food that I give them than food from this feeder. Like they're okay eating some dry food out of the feeder because I feel like they think it's like treats or something, but they don't want to eat the regular food out of the feeder, but they're going to have to. So. This is all they're getting right now. I'm not giving them any dry. I'm not giving them anything else. It's about 10, 15 a.m. This thermometer says it is 15 degrees out. I am just about to give Hydrox some food. He's getting half a can of the Nature's Variety Pride by Instinct, a Champ's Chicken Formula. And if we look at this thermometer um, under the sunroom that's attached to the heated cat shelter, it says it's 34 degrees on that thermometer. So that thermometer says it's 34 degrees. And this thermometer is 15 degrees. So that's like a 20 degree difference. The kitty cafe is frozen to the ground. I can't move it. But at least everything in the metal bowls is not frozen. It's mail time. Okay, let's start from the small and then we'll go to the large. What we got? What'd you get, Boo? What's in the package? Share photos of your cat playing with our toys. Polydactyl cats. Polydactyl, thank Mew for your order. Boo. Come on, Boo. Not now. Not now, we're opening. This says coal and marmalade. Chris Pool Cat Servant. Coal and marmalade.com. Watch out, Boop. Come on. Hey! Ow! Did you see what he just did? Boo! Stop that. This says, hi LF, thanks for all you do. Here is a small gift for the cats from Paul C in the UK. Well, thank you, Paul C. It looks like Boo is already very interested in his toys and uh, they say Cole and Marmalade.com and I don't know what these are. Are they like Q-tips? What are you eating, Boo? Stop that. Oh, that's just a piece of paper. These look like cotton swabs. Are these cotton swabs for cats? But you're not getting it now, boo. So there's one for each cat. There's four here, and they should definitely like them. These are catnip toys. Okay, boo. No more scratches. No scratching for toys, okay? Whoops. Okay. All right, next package. What do we got here, boo? We don't scratch for toys, right? No scratching for toys. What they get? 
It says, Dear Lucky Ferrells, Happy Catmas. I hope you enjoy these balls with bells. Stay well and no fighting. Dave. Thank you, Dave. These are Cat Pals Balls with Bells, a classic toy to inspire cats to run, roll, and play. And Boo loves these and Simba loves these. Actually, all the cats love these. So um, they will definitely enjoy playing with them. Right, Boo? You going to pose? You want to pose with those toys? Okay. This says, Hi Lucky, Happy New Year from Lisa McGovern, Sheba, and Muffy. Well, thank you, Lisa McGovern, Sheba, and Muffy. We have a video capture card. It says, Capture Analog Video for your Mac, PC, iPad, and iPhone. This is really cool. Boo must smell the catnip on this other envelope. Boo, I'm trying to film a video and you're making all kinds of noise. This is something that I had on my Amazon wish list because what this does is it helps you digitize old VHS tapes and I have a ton of old uh, VHS tapes that I would love to um, put onto uh, my computer and make digital files out of. So um, this is really cool. So uh, thank you guys for sending this. Okay, now let's move on to the boxes. Oh, I gotta get my box cutter. What do we have here? It looks like food. This says, hi Lucky, here's a little gift to keep Boo, Stella, Simba, Splashy, and Hydrox happy and healthy this winter. Enjoy from Yogi, Izzy Boo, and Alice J. Well, thank you, Yogi, Izzy Boo, and Alice J. This is awesome. This is the Nature's Variety Instinct Original Dry Cat Food. They love this food. This food is like crack for cats. I'm down to my last bag on the dry food already. And uh, so now I'll have this as a backup for uh, the month of January. This should actually keep the cats good probably well into next month. So uh, thank you so much for sending this. Boo's already looking. He loves his dry food. He probably smells it through the bag. Okay, this is a bigger box. But it's light. We have smaller boxes. Well, that looks comfortable, right? Look how soft that is. It's a really good size. This is Amazon Basics. That's what it looks like on the other side. They should love that. That's nice and squishy and comfy. So that's awesome. Oh, looks like we have another one. And here we have another pet bed. It's the same exact pet bed. These look really, really warm and cozy, especially for the winter now. This says, hi, Lucky Ferrell's mom. Thank you so much for caring for and loving Stella, Simba, Splash Boo, and Hydrox and letting us all see and enjoy them every day. Happy holidays to you and all yours from Alexander Ginsberg. Well, thank you, Alexander. That was very nice of you to send these uh, pet beds to the cats. I'm sure that they will love using them. What do we have here? There's a lot of stuff in here. This says, hi, Lucky Ferrell's mom. Thank you so much for caring for and loving Stella, Simba, Splash, Boo, and Hydrox and letting us all see and enjoy them every day. Happy holidays to you and all yours from Alexander Ginsberg. Thank you, Alexander. Here's another box from you. And we have Go Pets. This is really cool. This is like a scratching ramp. And um, it looks like it has like two little holes on the side. See those? 
They love anything like that. So that is great. They're going to enjoy this. And that's what it looks like. It looks kind of like a piece of Swiss cheese a little bit. And then here's another one. So there's two of them. So there's one for upstairs and one for downstairs, which is great. And it's the same thing with the pet beds. There's a pet bed for upstairs and a pet bed for downstairs. And we also have a pet grooming glove. This says it cleans and softens coat. Ideal for all coat types. It says brush away the mess. This grooming gloves allow you to brush away dirt, grime, dander, and loose hair from cats and dogs of all shapes and sizes. More importantly, it helps stimulate the healthy oils on their skin, which can improve the softness and radiance of their coat. A healthier home. Gentle on the skin, thanks to soft bristle tips, our grooming glove not only helps reduce the amount of hair left behind on furniture, clothes, or in the car. It can help reduce allergens in the air for cleaner, healthier breathing. So that's really cool. I am definitely looking forward to trying out uh, these grooming gloves. Thank you. It is 11.40 a.m. and the cats still really haven't eaten much of their food. They've had quite a bit of treats today. They've had some meaty steaks and they've had some other treats and there's been a whole lot of commotion going on in this house today so right now I am going to give them some dry food um, in their feeder for dinner along with some of the freeze-dried raw food they should like that they'll have the rest of the day to finish this raw food and then tonight at 7 p.m. these feeders will dispense their dinner it is about 11 p.m. I just got home a little while ago and um, I said hello to Boo, spent some time with him. Now I'm downstairs hanging out with the other cats for a little while. They all ate their dinner. They all had dry food in the automatic feeder. They had freeze dried raw in the automatic feeder. And um, they had treats today. I might give them a little bit more of the dry food before I go to bed. And I'm super tired right now. There's Splash. He looks like he just woke up. That's what they usually do when I'm not home. They just take naps all day. One of the things I did today that was actually productive was go to Costco and buy a new runner to replace this runner. So um, this runner has been down here, I would say maybe like a year now. Um, I think it's been a year. And it's in pretty bad shape. I mean, it doesn't look it from here. But the bottom is all torn up from where the cats have torn it up. And it's just really ragged. It's a mess. You might not be able to see it. It probably doesn't look as bad on camera. Um, but the backing is starting to deteriorate also. So I wanted to, to get a new one to replace it. And these are inexpensive as far as runners go. Um, so... I'm going to be tossing this one and I picked up this one to replace it and uh, I got this at Costco. It was $9.99 so for 10 bucks I have a new runner and it should last a year like the other one did. This says machine wash separately in cold water, gentle cycle with mild detergent. Do not bleach or use fabric softener, hang to dry, do not iron, do not dry clean. Made in Canada. So yeah, so let's take the label off and put the runner down and see how it looks. So here's the new runner. And uh, it definitely feels better than the old one. Um, it feels just like newer and more substantial. I don't know if they're making them different or if this is thicker or it's just because it's newer. But uh, it feels better. Stella seems to like it. Hopefully... They're not going to tear it up as much as the old one. And um, I think I like the color and the design. Um, at first I wasn't sure, but I, I, think, I think I'll like it. 
Um, this was the only one they had that was light in color. Everything else was like very uh, black and dark brown and this was the only one that had any like beige or lighter gray in it and um, that's why I got it. I had nothing to choose from. This was the only one so I guess I was kind of lucky in that regard that they actually had something lighter that would go with the lighter colors down here. So Stella likes it. Stella says, oh, I got a new rug to lay on. Stella and her fluffy belly. Simba? Simba, do you like the new rug also? Gray cats tend to like gray rugs. That's what I've noticed. They're also just very happy that I'm home. This is another small rug that I am replacing today. This rug um, is definitely five years old. Um, I want to say it's anywhere between five and seven years old. I don't remember exactly when I got it. But this rug has not been in a heavily trafficked area. It's just always been in um, spare bathrooms. Since it's black, I could see everything on it. Every little cat hair. See all those cat hairs right now? Like every little cat hair is visible and this has just been vacuumed. And um, it's really, really annoying because right now this rug is right near where the litter boxes are. So the litter boxes are in this shower stall in here. And um, then the cats come out here and a lot of the litter just stays on this mat thing. and there gets to be a ton of like litter and stuff usually around here and since this is black it's always a nightmare so I've been wanting to replace this with a different rug and I haven't had a chance to do it so today I went out and I bought a bunch of new rugs to replace stuff so now the back of this rug is not too bad like it's worn in some places but overall I would say that the condition of this rug is satisfactory although look here look the back over here, the back of this is really starting to come off, so um, that's not good. I'm glad I'm replacing this, but uh, in general it's okay. So I think what I'm going to do is I think this is going to go into the garage. I tend to like to take the um, rugs that I don't use in the house anymore and put them in the garage. So like right now, I would say two-thirds of my garage um, has rugs on it and I just like it better than the plain concrete floor so um, this is probably gonna end up going out in the garage also. This is the rug that I bought to replace that rug. This is from Bed Bath & Beyond. It was $19.99 but of course you can use a 20% off coupon or a $5 off coupon and it helps bring the price down. This is a Mohawk Smart Strand rug. Basically I bought it because it was a beige rug that I thought would go with this beige tile and I thought it would not look as horrible as the black rug does all of the time and it was one of the only rugs that they had um, this size and uh, this color so that's why I got it and there really were not many rugs to choose from. It says that this is an accent rug that's probably the proper term for these rugs accent rugs. Um, so while I hate the fact um, that it's going to camouflage um, a lot of like the litter and the cat hair and stuff like that. At the same time, I think it will look better because it's going to camouflage a lot of that stuff. And it's not going to be an eyesore on a daily basis um, between vacuumings. Mm -hmm. 